Okay, Darren here, and today's lesson, car wheel cleaning. It's gonna be a three-parter. The first part is basically a hands-on moment. What do I use? Uh, why do I use it? Uh, what actually prompted this video was I was working on a car that I've been taking care of for three and a half years, and I'm looking at the wheel after it's done, and I'm going, oh my gosh, this wheel looks like brand new. Now, are these wheels perfect? No. Once again, it has 55,000 miles on it. It's a daily driver and it is a jungle on the roads, even here in California. The main point is that I use Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. It's an acid-based cleaner that a lot of people want to freak out about because I like to mock the industry about this whole pH balance crap. Okay, the reason that even prompted something is because there's this endless debate about wheel cleaners acid-based wheel cleaners versus pH neutral or pH balanced wheel cleaners. Yeah, jack off sign. So part one, hands-on demonstration. Part two is gonna be geared towards more how to manage your expectations of your customers if you are looking to get into the business or you are a beginner in the business already. Part three will be uh, dissecting the jack off sign moment when it comes to traditional wheel cleaners and acid-based cl wheel cleaners and why I use them. So let's get started and I'm gonna break it down. I'm also gonna talk to you about the tools that I use and why I use the specific car wheel cleaning tools that I do. Now as a note, make sure below this video you click on the show more and it will be a link. On that link it will take you to my website. I've taken a lot of time to construct that page it will actually be the written comprehensive version of this tutorial, this video tutorial. And I actually show specific pictures of very of many types of wheels because they come in many configurations. Check out that page before you offer any questions or ask any questions. Check out that page because I'm guessing that probably 95% of your questions are answered between these, these three videos and that page. So let's get going. Okay, this is what I use, Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. It's an acid-based cleaner. Uh, let's just go in, I'm gonna get started. I dilute it down four to one, and I'm gonna show you the actual process on a wheel itself. Essentially, what I keep in here is wheel brightener and super degreaser. Super degreaser is cut down four to one. I use it on the tires in the wheel well area. The acid-based Meguiar's Wheel Brightener is what I use on the wheels. Safe for virtually any wheel. The only time is, as a rule, it's going to be on aftermarket wheels, on cast aluminum or bare aluminum, but that's a video for another time. For 99% of the wheels out there, whether they're stock or what's called OE, original equipment, or even aftermarket wheels because virtually every one of them is coated with a clear coating very similar to the clear coating on your paint. But the reason I use the Meguiar's acid-based wheel cleaner is because it's so effective chemically at reacting to the brake dust. Okay, so I'm trying to make my job easier, not harder. So you can see as I'm just spraying this, and I'm using an excessive amount of wheel cleaner just to illustrate the point, that just doing that will clean this off. Okay, now as a direct comparison, if I take my super degreaser, which is diluted down four to one, and did the same thing, yes, it will clean it off, but you can see it is not as effective as the wheel cleaner. Acid does not have a bad reaction to plastics. Clear coat is a form of plastic. So what I want it to do is be effective against the brake dust, but be safe for the clear coat. And it is safe for the clear coat, which is why I can use it directly on the paint to remove water spots because it's safe for it. Hence, I keep it in a plastic bottle. Hence, when you order online, if you order through my website, it will come in a plastic bottle because there is no chemical reaction in a bad way with plastic. But, but I use it year after year. I've been using the Megs or the Meguiar's Wheel Brightener 
probably 12 years now. Before that was just a different type or a different manufacturer, but it was still an acid-based um, wheel cleaner because they are so effective. So anyhow, you will need different types of brushes. And it's simply, and normally I wear gloves. And once again, because, you know, as I'm shooting these videos, it becomes my forest. And I forget about all the stuff I want to cover. And, and then as I'm shooting it, I think, oh, that's right. What about that point or this point? So it's just endless. And because I shoot on the fly, that's just the trade-off. So this brush, a definite must. It's safe. It's got the longer bristles. I can force those bristles into the lug nuts, the lug holes. I have found that any of the dedicated brushes that are designed for the lugs just do not last. I've tried them. I've tried various kinds. This brush to me is a winning combination for the outside of the wheel itself and inside the lug nuts. Now for the inside of the barrel, I keep going to the Speedmaster. To me, this is the better alternative to the other tool that I will have addressed already because you can get inside here and really clean the barrel if you are going to clean the barrel which is yet another discussion but for right now I just want to show you exactly what I do to clean the wheels um, use it on a cool surface it can be warm but not scorching hot the problem is is you don't want it to dry because once it dries, then it has this residue that's kind of hard to get off because it just dries on. So if you did allow it to dry, all you would have to do is reactivate it, maybe agitate it a little bit more, hose it off, and it's fine. But many chemicals um, act in that very same fashion. Then the wheel wells, I shoot some degreaser up in the wheel wells. If I need to scrub them with a brush, I can. I have a separate wheel well brush, but that specifically is for another video. I take my little scrub brush, and I literally got this, I think, at Target. And this is just dirty, messy work. This will get your hands dirtier than no other. I hose that off. And bam got my clean wheel.